After the First World War, Tanner declined in terms of production. He lost his wife. His son had a nervous breakdown at one point. He was having a really hard time, like many artists, during the Great Depression making a living. There are letters that he wrote back to his family members here in the States trying to get commissions, trying to work with the AME Church, Mother Bethel, to do a sculpture, working with schools like Cheney to commission paintings. He was trying really hard and to make a living, and his letters express that frustration, that he felt like he was not always supported by what he called his people. I think he would have liked to have more patronage from the AME Church uh, and from African American institutions, but the fact is everybody was going through the Great Depression, and it was hard to make a living, and it was hard for people to support him. He mentored a large number of African American artists who came to France to study with them, or just to meet him, and he influenced them well into the 20th century. So that's really one of his great legacies, that he was able to serve as a role model and to help these young artists on their way. It meant that he was still having a hard time at the end of his life, but I think he knew that he was helping this younger generation.